Hey everyone, so today's topic is uh, a little bit different. It's actually the first of a brand new topic, which is the job search process. And so uh, in the job search process, we're going to be first taking a look at ourselves, okay? And so that's one of the most important first uh, steps that you have to take when you're actually looking for a job. And so I'm just gonna go over the process of taking that first step and taking a look at yourself uh, beyond anything else uh, before you actually start your job search. You can't start with the resume, you can't start with job ap application. First, you have to take a look at yourself. So uh, that comes into self appraisal and uh, self-reflection and honestly appraising who you are, what's important to you, and where you're going because uh, without these things it's going to be pretty difficult for you to actually uh, know what you're uh, wanting to do in the future. So make sure that you do that. Next, you have to figure out what kind of person are you, you know, are, are you somebody that likes to interact with people or somebody that prefers to work, you know, more uh, solo, things like that. And then uh, next, based on your values, what are the most important things that you actually want in a job? So, um, you know, the book that I'm referencing here is called Jobs, The Job Searcher's Handbook by Carolyn Robbins. And so for my BCom class, take a look at this chapter, read this chapter one, and make sure that you guys are going through and you're actually taking a look at all these different things uh, that deal with your values, attitudes, and goals that will, um, you know, allow you to actually make informed and educated decisions about the job that you're trying to get. Um, so that's exactly where we're going to transition to now is the values that you have and then we'll get into attitudes and goals. So the values that you have, uh, that basically has to be done in your self-analysis stage. And so a couple tips for self-analysis is that you need to do it yourself, okay? Friends and family might have a biased perception of you, um, but ultimately you're the authority on yourself. So it's important that uh, while you do the job search process, you uh, keep in mind that you're evaluating yourself, you're essentially the salesperson for yourself. So make sure that you are, uh, you know, making sure that you have the authority on yourself and that you're not letting friends and family, uh, you know, make your decisions for you. Okay. Next, uh, you got to look at things and processes. So what are your values mountain, uh, basically, uh, it's going to be broken down between a few different things, your intrapersonal values, which are your core values. You know, those are values that are inside yourself, you know, like integrity, uh, achievement, uh, what do you get when it comes to satisfaction, uh, from your job. So you have to keep those things in mind. And then you have your interpersonal values, and those are the values between people and yourself. So uh, as a collective, what what is the collective goal? You know, what what are your values? Do they line up with that with the company, right? And the people within the company. And then finally, attitude, right? We need to talk about attitude. So uh, it's very hard to get a job if you have a bad attitude. I don't know if you've ever interviewed someone or if you've went into an interview with a person with a bad attitude or you were that person with the bad attitude, but uh, at the end of the day, people want to work with who they like, right? So if you're likable, if you're, um, you know, you have a good attitude going into it, you're going to have a lot better success rate than if you go in with a bad attitude. And so definition of attitude is a manner, disposition, feeling, or position towards a person or thing. Okay. So uh, in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about setting goals and, uh, you know, talking about uh, setting feasible goals, but challenging goals and, you know, making sure that you set up. Up, uh, your goals in a way where you can actually achieve them, right? Not just have uh, extremely large long-term goals with no ways to actually achieve them. They have to be broken up into smaller chunks and, uh, you know, be corrected and adjusted as you go sometimes. So uh, hopefully that'll help you out with a little bit on this chapter and uh, what we're working on. And that'll kind of help you get started on that job search. Because remember, it's ultimately up to you and it's up to your ability to go into that job interview and actually handle business. And to do that, you're going to need a good attitude because it's just not going to work if you go in there with a bad attitude and you have to know what your values are. Uh, so, you know, these are just some things to think about while you're self-appraising yourself for the next few weeks. And then uh, we'll hop into some other things like applications, resumes, and uh, interview skills a little bit later on. So thank you so much for watching.